Here. We're at Silver Glen Springs. So much natural beauty. It's supposed to be one of the clearest and really I think all of Florida and yeah. a very large area to swim in. Hey guys, I'm Sarah and this is Paul and we love adventure and good food. In the last episode, we found beautiful swans in Orlando, Florida and even found the best vegan s'more dessert we've ever had. Join us on today's new adventure as we head to a spring in Florida's Ocala National Forest. We're gonna go swimming, canoeing, and even do some hiking. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Two good. of us. Okay, so these just are proof that you paid the admission. They can right. have a good time. Thank you so cool. much. Thank Welcome. you. So last week we were at Lake Eola, and this week we wanted to do something a little bit different. We wanted to get out on the water. Yes, I'm so excited. And this is actually a new spring for us that we've been wanting to try. It gets super busy on holidays and weekends, so we chose to take a day off of work and come explore. We're in the Ocala National Forest, and this is specifically the Silver Glen Springs Recreational Area. There's kayaking and swimming and uh, exploring hiking. There's like two different trails, so I yeah. think we have a whole day. Yeah, not fun. only that, the water is supposed to be like turquoise blue. Also very popular for boaters because they have access to the spring directly. Let's go check it out. Look at that water. Like I said, it gets really busy here. And the parking lot was empty. And still, there are a lot of people that are in the water right now. And we were gonna take a swim right now, but we're gonna wait a little bit. I think we'll start with a hike. <laughs> yeah. Let's do the hike first. So we're gonna do the half mile uh, hike that is right from the spring. You can, the trailhead's right there. And it actually goes oh, to the boil. To the boil. You don't have to be perfect. Broken bones are worth their weight in gold. They prove your life. There's boaters right there. This feels like Florida hiking at its best. Right now it's what, like 70 degrees outside. If that's the first cool day of the year. Oh man, it feels so good. I can't believe I'm in shorts. Normally with this weather I'm wearing like sweater. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And we have to actually watch our step. We've seen a lot of bear poo around. Kind of crazy. And of course a lot of roots, so no twisting of ankles. What are you guys doing back here? Come on, let's go see the boil. Oh, there's a yellow fish. It's really yellow. You know, this actually reminds me a little bit of Juniper Springs. There's like a boardwalk and you can just like drop in. Pretty cool. And that makes sense because this is pretty close to there. And I think we need to get into this water and do some kayaking yes, later. We do. It's so beautiful. No fears or regrets. Just take the jump and hold your breath. It feels good to be alive. We made it to the end of the little boil trail. I think it was really only like 2.2 five miles or so. Yeah, very short. Very short. And there's about a dozen or so very small boils. You can see them and it's crystal clear water. You cannot swim at this part of the trail, um, the boil. So instead, I think we're going to head back to the main boil, see if we can go swimming. And if it's still not a good time, then we're gonna jump into some kayaks. You know what that is? That means there's bears around. Very natural. Oh my right. gosh, guys. The coast is clear. Let's jump We're in. We're jumping in. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm falling. Oh, man, is that cold. 72, year round. Keep moving. Guys, don't forget your snorkels when you come here. We did forget ours.
there's huge fish around us. <laughs> and how big was that fish? Oh, like that big? <laughs> Wild people. <laughs> this is really very pristine. I can see why everyone talks about this spring. Silver Glen Springs really is quite beautiful and has a lot of space to spread out. But it is very busy even on this weekday. <laughs> hey, you might want to come early. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're just going to enjoy this, <laughs> swim around a little bit, and see what we find. Oh my gosh, just gorgeous. There's actually a ton of algae below us. Which means there could be eels, if you remember oh, from yeah. our Juniper Springs video. Yeah, <laughs> the, the eel show. <laughs> this is so weird. I'm stepping on the sand and it's super soft. And every time I step on it, all these bubbles come up. And it smells like nitrogen. Oh, check this out. It's like quicksand. Ooh. It does. Why is that? So now that we got in a nice swim and checked out the area, I think we're getting a little hungry, so we need a snack. Before we go kayaking. Yeah, gotta get back out on the water, but this time in a boat. Well, that is interesting. I thought for sure we were gonna get a canoe or a kayak, but the office is closed. Yeah, but we're still gonna go get our snack and then probably change a little bit and then go on a hike. <laughs> Okay, I'd say it's time for some lunch. We got something fresh today. I made my own salad dressing, some balsamic vinegar, a little bit of amino acids. The key, I used, I think, pickle juice. Okay, what else? I also made some fresh pumpkin muffins last night. So that's what we're gonna be having today. A nice right. little pumpkin muffin. Beautiful. Got our ranger friend behind us. Speaking of a ranger friend, guess what? We can go kayaking after all. Yeah, the office, it was closed over there, but apparently they don't have internet. So they moved it to the main office. So we just have to pay for the kayak or canoe, I guess. And then she'll go grab it and then we can get on the water. That was a great lunch. Yes, it was. The healthiest lunch I think I've ever had at a yeah. spring. <laughs> yeah. So now we're gonna go see if we can get those kayaks or I guess probably canoes. Fingers crossed <laughs> that that is actually the truth. We can go pick them up. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go, let's go. Oh, go, go, go. We managed to get a kayak, I mean canoe. Oh my gosh. Turns out we only have like, what, one hour left? Probably like a little over an hour. And we thought it was $24, but now it's 44. So let's get out on the water. water uh-huh I'm doing all the work <laughs> okay so we're going against the current right now and we have about how long two hours we have a two-hour rental basically before we have to return it 
and we have a short way to Lake George. We'll see if we make it to Lake George. Can't promise that. It's supposed to be about one mile. Still can't promise. We're definitely going upstream. <laughs> okay, let's check out some scenes. Yeah, I wonder if we're gonna see any alligators. That is possible. Wow, this is so clear, absolutely clear. Beautiful. That might be a blue crab. Cool. Yeah, I think it might be. Yeah. Huh. Look at this. The water just turned brown. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for alligators. Stroke! 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 <laughs> we really almost hit that dock because yeah. I'm fumbling with the camera. <laughs> but just at the last minute, Paul makes a swipe and then we turn left and then all is well. <laughs> oh, the current up there looks really strong in Lake George. I don't know how. Uh, I think much we should go we should go over to that island right over there. We uh, pretty much made it to Lake George. Yeah, we're almost there. You, Skipper, are so adventurous. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is so crazy. We've been paddling maybe 15 minutes and now we're on this deserted island. There are palm trees, oak trees, and it's just this island in the middle of, what is this, the, the river and Lake George. Pretty awesome. This might be as far as we go into the lake because there's some pretty strong current. I think we can make it a little bit out and back. We might be able to go around this island. All right. Well, let's go try it. <laughs> and what is that right there? Oh, that looks like a swing. Cool. Honestly, though, I don't know who would swing into this water. It's too brown. You can't see through until you get to that exact line where the brown water meets the clear water. Well, we made it into Lake George. I'd say it's really huge. There aren't even any boats out here. And look at this, we pretty much have a sunset. Aww. Let's paddle off into the sunset. That's crazy. Those fish are like, what, a foot and a half? And those are technically striped bass. All right, don't freak out. There's a bumblebee on your left hip. Maybe just shake your hip a little bit. Oh my God. <laughs> you might want to shake a little more. Do I have to? Uh-huh. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> what do I do? Here, take my hat and then just kind of swat it away a little bit. Oh man. Yeah, the, the bill. This part? Yeah, the hard part. Did I get it? 
No. <laughs> Can I just take off my shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Now. How big was that bee? That really freaked me out. <laughs> and I love animals. <laughs> I seriously thought when she swiped it, she was going to fall in. That was really close. Wait, wait till you watch that back. That's going to be funny. I could feel it. I could feel the heaviness and like I thought it was going to sting me through my shirt. Boy, nature just loves you. But I love nature. I'm just also very... I respect it and I know its power. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Wow. Just beautiful, it really is. It's kind of hard to uh, want to get out of the water, but this is actually making us want to go in the water even more. So, with the limited daylight we have left today, I think we're gonna get back in the water um, at the swimming boil. And I think it's like calmed down a lot. I can see it from here and the, there's almost nobody in the water. It was really nice kayaking here though. It's actually really quite peaceful. Really, really peaceful. Especially early morning and later in the day. <sighs> All right, you ready to get into some freezing water? Let's do it. So we gotta return it right back here. Awesome. Such clear water. Beautiful. <laughs> it felt like meditation on the water. Just uh, something about being on the water with the sunset. I just love that. Whoa. I think that's it. Just drop it off. Got to get our bathing suits back on. And look at this. We are shutting the place down. There's like nobody else here. We're going to be all alone in the water. Wow, you guys, this is truly incredible. I've never been alone like this at a park. It's five o'clock on a Friday and we are the only two people here. They close at 6.30, so there's still like an hour and a half left and there is nobody in the water. You have the whole place to yourself. It's and look crazy. at this, it's like, it's sunset. How crazy, oh man. I mean, yeah. there are boaters out there though. Yeah. Like out there, but. Yeah, now that would be awesome, anchoring a boat right here, <laughs> wow. It's really incredible. So we're gonna have the whole place to ourselves. It feels kind of kind of romantic. Yeah. It's nice. I mean, it's gonna be cold and <laughs> keep yeah. moving. See keep what moving. she does. And I've actually rented this out for the you know last hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You did good. <laughs> yeah. Note, guys. <laughs> I'm going. I don't know if I can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Are you waiting on me? Adventurous vegan? Alright you guys, I think we're gonna end it right here with the sunset and the beautiful spring behind us. We have really loved bringing you on this journey with us and if you've loved this and give us a like and make sure to subscribe so you can come on adventures with us and share this with your friends and we will see you on the next one see you next time